Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside, and welcome to Correspondences for Work and Magic on the 8th of September, 2021. Well, it's a Wednesday, so if you've kind of uh, been seeing the the uh, uh, governance of each day, you know that uh, Mercury governs magic today, and the focus is going to be on communication, interactions, balance, justice, and revelation. Um, let's see i'm gonna tell you some things that I, I i think you can do here but but let's just go over quickly the correspondences we're talking about the element air 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 is cor corresponds with mercury the god mercury uh and uh, the colors are yellow and purple um agate emerald fluorite topaz citrine are among the crystals that can be used on wednesday uh benzoin gum arabic and frankincense can be burned uh, as resins, um, marjoram, whorehound, bergamot, cinnamon, lavender, uh, caraway, cloves, licorice, mullein, peppermint, star anise, and hyssop are Wednesday herbs. Um, and again, you know, use what you want or don't use any of them. It's up to you. Um, let's see. Polarities are in relative balance. Masculine or the projective side of self is just slightly one point stronger. Uh, we've shifted a little, though, in elemental influence. Right now, we've got uh, elemental air. Again, intellect, reason, justice, interactions, communications. That's the strongest effect today. Uh, earth, material concerns, physical concerns. That's next in strength. Water, uh, in which is the emotions, compassion, empathy, uh, is, is having a lesser impact, although I think it might be a little bit more. I think it might have increased a little bit today. Um, and fire still is having no impact. So, um, you know, <laughs> you can take that as you want to. Birkin, Oredo, and uh, Ingus are the uh, runes that comprise the, the today's rune divination. You can check that out. The moon's in Libra. Um, let's see. The lunar phase, we're approaching first quarter on the 13th. The mansion of the moon is the 15th today, and uh, we're looking at, looks like Mercury is going to go retrograde in another 18 days. Ceres is going to go uh, retrograde in 30, um, but so another month there. But what I'm recommending today um, is a little uh, candle work. And uh, with Mercury influencing magic, gaining some clarity over all the discord that we're witnessing may be in order. Instead of the focus of the working centering on stopping the discord, which you could use with a, a, the seal, the planetary seal of Mercury, you could do that. It might be best to try to understand what's at the heart of the unwillingness of some to approach things in a reasonable or nonviolent manner. Lots of weird stuff happening right now. And I'm just of the opinion that there are greater forces at work here uh, that I think we need to understand the bigger picture of. And I don't mean individuals either. I mean greater astral forces that, that are at work here uh, forcing this on us so that because it's it's it, to me it feels like we just don't have any time left right to understand the truth of all of this and so it's like something greater than us is you know the, on a soul level is coming in and saying all right now you guys are going to look at this now and you're going to get it right that's how this feels to me so that's that's the, I, I just I, I think that we, in terms of understanding it, then maybe we can deal then with its growing effect. So anyhow, it's important though in this working that you begin by casting your circle or creating your sacred space, whatever you do to do that. Um, I'm less about telling you what to do than offering you examples here. People approach this differently. You can, uh, depending on your orientation, typically people start in the east, they face east. But but now the northern magic, uh, it folk, they you know Norse magic and all of that, um, we tend to face north when we start. So it just kind of depends on you can alter what I'm going to show you here. Uh, and, and it's all written out on the Patreon page um, for Patreon supporters. But uh, we have, um, it just depends on your orientation. So you can, you can modify this any way you need to. Um, but what I, but, but in any event, if you're accustomed to establishing the elemental directions, otherwise known as calling the quarters, um, be sure to do that to provide further structure and protection for the working, uh, perform. There's a thing called the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram. Now that's a hermetic ceremonial magic, 
uh, type of ritual. But what it does is it essentially is drawing pentagrams in each of the four directions uh, in, in a ritual format. Uh, to to establish the circle essentially to strengthen the circle of protection around you but now I've I've done it differently so <laughs> of course and I believe I've shown you already the blessing of the Norns uh, and so we're going to open with that along with what I call my own version of the LBRP which is the pentagrams of protection uh, but it's essentially the same kind of structure and format it's just it's just different a little bit different well, it's a lot different. But anyway, we're going to begin with uh, the blessing of the Norns where you stand uh, and you can face whichever direction you wish to do. Um, and it's Dea, which is goddess. And then Baal Existeri Verdandi, which is Blessed Be Verdandi. Uh, Baal Existeri Schooled, which is Blessed Be Schooled. Uh, Baal Existeri Earth, uh, which is blessed be earth, uh, perfectus in caritate, a fiducium, uh, when, and, and remember that from before that that translates into in perfect love and tr perfect trust, and then awen uh, is the is the spiritual uh, energies that we draw down uh, uh, to us. So then moving on to the pentagrams of protection, um, you're going to face east, and visualize a fiery blue pentagram forming while saying Dea, again goddess, Aradia, which is the goddess I'm using, Ergo Navitas, which is raise your energy. Uh, and that's a quick way. If you need to cast a circle just like that, you can repeat, you know, several times, four or four times, Ergo Navitas, and and you know, and then see the 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 protection come up around you. Uh, to protect you from intrusive energies, that's one thing to do. Um, you can you can actually bring it all down, everything you do down to Ergo Navitas, and that's you've already gotten it in your head what that means. You can also do it that way. But for now, that's what Ergo Navitas means: is raise your energy, raise that cone of protection around you. And using either an athame, which is a knife. Uh, a ceremonial knife, a wand, or your index finger as you call the goddess, Dea Aradia, Ergo Navitas, and you're raising the energy, point to the direction, in this case east, and then draw the flaming pentagram itself in the air. All right, and then from there, you're going to draw, from that pentagram, you're going to draw a, a, a line to the south. Okay, uh, and again, and, and that's going to be a flaming blue line. All right, uh, visualize the blue pentagram forming again while you say Dea Brigid Aragon Abitas while pointing to the direction and drawing the blue flaming paragram pentagram. And then from there, you're going to draw the flaming blue line to the west and say Dea Tiamat or whatever goddess you want to substitute for that. Ergo Navitas, raise energy as you point to the direction and draw the blue flaming pentagram there. Uh, and then again, you're going to do it again. Uh, uh, let's see, to the north and say uh, Dea Elen, uh, Ergo Navitas, while drawing the flaming blue, blue pentagram again. Now, now that you've done all four 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 quarters, basically, all four directions, you're going to want to connect that goddess energy together. Now, you've basically got pentagram, 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 pentagram with lines in between, but you've not yet connected the north to the east. So you gotta have to, you're going to have to do that to, to complete that flaming blue circle of protection around you. Uh, and when you do that, um, you're going to once you get to the east, when that's complete, uh, you're going to say the power of air before me, the power of water behind me, the power of fire to the right of me, the power of earth to the left of me, the flames of protection shine in Awen. And then when you're ready, now that you've done all of that, when you're ready, <laughs> you light a yellow or purple candle. Hold a piece of fluoride or, or quartz, whatever you've got, really. If you've got one of the crystals recommended for, for Wednesday, great. Fluorite's a great one uh, for trance work. Um, but so is any type of quartz, really. And observe the candle's flame. If the flame is strong, then you know that there are powerful energies at work here. If it's erratic, then you're looking at an unstable influence affecting the situation. And then if you... Uh, 
uh, if, if the flame is either weak or the candle doesn't seem to want to light at all, then there could be some, some energy, s something energetic and, and intrusive that's opposing the working itself. But once you have the information uh, from the candle's flame and, and you have kind of the general idea of where this is all going, then <laughs> you, you, you're going to want to go within uh, to a trance state and raise your vibration to access the astral realm and then remain in the trance state to gain clarity. Whatever, Just take note of whatever comes in. Uh, ask the goddesses to assist you in your endeavor or any other higher guides with whom you're accustomed to working. Uh, if a new energy approaches, be certain that it knows you're under goddess protection always, because what you're wanting to access are higher vibratory energies, nothing that's lower, all right, because sometimes they can creep in and you don't want that. So everything has to be of a higher energy, a higher vibratory state. And then once you've gotten all that you can from that trans state, when you feel like, okay, I need, I can go now, then return to consciousness and end the working as you typically do. And again, modify the working any way that resonates, including substituting other goddesses or anything else. If you, if you want a different color flame, if you want to align each direction with the different colors that they are, you can do that. I like to use blue light. I like to combine it with silver light. <laughs> so when I'm raising energy from the earth, I use the blue light. When I'm drawing it down to, from spirit, I tend to use silver. So, And then when, I, when they meet in the middle in the heart chakra, then you're going to mix them all together and cast it out into the universe, right? But, but the bottom line is, is that, is that um, we're just going to work with some goddess energies uh, today and, and use them to protect the working and... Uh, uh, just and then from there just do what you want to do really and and i'm just advocating using a candle to gaze into the flame to understand the 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 fundamental energies that work and then move into the trance state where you can discover a little more about what's truly at the heart of what's going on right now uh, and it's I, I would venture to guess what you find is going to not be a, a, as much a cause and effect from the earthly standpoint, but cause and effect from the astral or soul standpoint. So anyway, something to do on a Wednesday. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching and we'll talk again tomorrow. Be good to yourself. Be good to one another and blessed be.